to make a tile map, or in other words, how to make walls for a maze. So we are going to go into scene. We're going to choose set tile map to. And I'm going to put that into my on start. I'm going to click on the gray box to open up my canvas. We'll change the size of this just a little bit. 24 by 24. Uh, and then I'm going to go through and I'm going to choose something fun to make as my walls or my tile map. So if I'm making a maze, this tile map would be uh, the path for me to follow. These would be the walls that I create that I can't get through. So I'm going to start off, I'm going to color the whole thing in, and then I'm going to make some walls. I use the line tool because that helps me make things nice and straight. Whoops, there we go. Do And you have to make sure you choose the right one, otherwise it's going to look silly. There. And again, I'm going to start off here. Oops, come on. I hate when I do that. There we go. Notice it's like kind of screwing up the corners. That's because there are actually corner pieces to put in. So I'm going to go find my corner pieces. Put that in. That in, that in, and that in. Okay, so now let's say that I want to use, I'm going to use some trees. We're going to have a forest in here. And in this case, I'm not going to use a line. I could though. Let's make that, let's do the line, it goes quicker. That is. Da -da. So you make your maze, you make the path however you want, as tricky as you want. All right, let's say that I did that enough. All right, now the next thing I have to do is I have to turn these into walls. Right now they're not walls and my sprite could go right through them. So right here is the block that says draw walls. I'm gonna click that, you see it turns red. Over here on the top right it says show walls. Okay, that way I can see this red. So I'm gonna make all of this a wall. And it's still the line, so. Since you can see these walls, you can kind of make some sneaky things in here if you want. You can leave some spots open that maybe are kind of like secret passageways in your maze. There's a lot of things that you can do with these walls. There we go. I'm gonna leave the rest of it. There we go. All right, I'm gonna click done. And I've made my tile map. Notice I can't see it real well. Okay, let's test it. I'm gonna go into sprites, set my sprite to. I'm gonna go to the gallery. I'm gonna choose something nice and simple like a duck. I love using the duck, he makes me happy. He's not a cat though, so we're gonna rename him to duck. There we go. So now he shows up in the middle. He's right in the middle of my wall, so he can't move. Oh no, he can't move. So I need to position him somewhere where I can start the game because he's on a wall. So set the duck to put it right there. And now I can, come on, go, go, go. Oh, I think I still have him on a wall. I'm gonna have to move him over just a little bit. I think, let's see. Oh my goodness, what did I do? Oh, you guys, why didn't you tell me I didn't add any controlling buttons? Gosh, there we go. Duck. Now we should work, there we go. But look, if I try to go through the trees, I can't. All right, now he goes off the screen. I'll show you in another short video 
how to keep it so that the camera follows your sprite as you move through the maze. Thanks!